Hey guys! Welcome back to Let's Play Red Dead Redemption 2, Episode 2. Yeah. Was that necessary? Um, Should I have said it like I'm in a western? No. You're we gotta go get people. them them outlaws. I don't know what I'm doing. Sorry guys. We're uh, literally picking right up where we left off. Yes, that's why we're at the pause menu on a horse. On a horse? What did uh, we do last time? Last time, we kind of got acclimated. We learned we are Arthur. Uh, we just followed Dale down to, God, I don't remember their names, some Irish name, oh something, uh, who, the ones who were planning to rob the train, we kind of killed all them and stole their train, blowing up shenanigans, tools, stuff, supplies. Uh, now we're about to head back to camp, and Carrie and I have the great, you know, equalizer for Let's Plays. Alcohol. I was just about to say that. I have an adult beverage. Hey. Uh, she's drinking champagne. I'm drinking rum, as usual. Um, we always like to tell you what we're drinking. Um, even though we keep our Kingdom Hearts Let's Play PG, uh, we do drink through it. rattling that ice, please? Thanks. That ice. I wanted them to hear my beverage. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Hey, let's get out of here. Proud of you boys. All of you. Not a man down. So far, this game is really entertaining to watch. That's good. For some starving down and outs. I aim to please. Hard as they like. But we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws <laughs> for life, fellas. Outlaws for life. Wait until we have John, Matt, Charles, and Sean back riding with us. And I believe... I at least the snowstorm's broken a little We've bit. We can at least back. see. There's still a ton of snow. This hit will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> oh, I'm really excited now to rob this train. We'll this is going to be awesome. Oh, indeed we will. oh, yeah, we still haven't done that yet. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will. Just like all the rest. But we're going to stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. Okay. You tell him, Dale. Um, so if you guys don't know, all I right. just posted Did on our first? Facebook and Twitter. Uh, all yeah, all of our social media is the James Play Games. Uh, pretty much across the board. So check us out, Twitter, Facebook, obviously on YouTube, clearly. You need to post more things. I am so bad at social media. It's not even funny. It's kind of funny, actually. I am awful. Because he's good at a lot of things. Just not social media. Hey, you see that fella? Wasn't he at the camp with Cole? Uh. Yeah. Leave him to me. All right, we're heading back. Just bring him back alive. He could be useful. Okay, you got Plan it. Plan on it. Who <laughs> might get a lasso? <laughs> lasso. <laughs> okay, let me log into our... Yeah. Instagrams or a Snapchat and see if I can do a story. Yeah. Oh, I'm totally gonna lasso this guy. This is gonna be great. Now that I'm logged in, I can Instagram, it's fine. Are you bad at social media too? Mm, I'm good at my own oh. social media. Oh! Got him! Oh, can, do I get to drag him? Wow. <laughs> Doing an Instagram story. <laughs> well, I totally. Oh, I get a hog time. Pick him up. Oh, I can't wait to hog tie people Just more. Go. Come on. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Just throw him up on the horse. Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a 
real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. <laughs> Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? Back to our what camp. What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please. What are you gonna do to him? Uh, uh, I don't know. Don't hurt him. Gotta get that cinematic camera angle. You're hurting me. Dude, I don't care. You tried to kill us. On multiple occasions at this point. Now you're hogtied on the back of a horse. <laughs> Please. You better shut your mouth, you little shitter. I will shut it for you. Oh, look at that. Where are your buddies? They went they went ahead and went back to the camp. Come on, just name your price. Oh, dang it, you're gonna break my rib. Oh god. Six hundred and fifty. Stop it. I need about tree fitty. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's graphic. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay. Okay. That's two bones right there. Uh, my horse ran out of steam. Though. The horse good. is tired. Give him a break. Nope. Ride or die. Ride or die. I really hope my horse can't die, though. That would be sad. That would be so sad. <laughs> I got a present! Here we are, you sack of shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. Come on. <laughs> don't hurt me, please. No, you didn't even tie your horse. Worry. Yeah, he'll be They're fine. real nice. <laughs> You found a little shit, did you? Yep. <coughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas as needs shooting. Save fellas. Is need saving, and feed them. Is need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it. An O'Driscoll in my camp. No, I ain't an O'Driscoll, Mister. I, I hate that fella. Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on coal. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. <laughs> Okay. It's another day. Seems like a good day to hit a train. <laughs> oh, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, just in case you guys don't know, I read this beforehand, but you can go in and save... Uh, it's under the story menu. However, it looks like right now I can't. So, never mind. Just kidding. Look at my horse. He's still there. That's a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can store stuff on him. Yeah, it's just gonna run out of. Uh... Can I feed my horse? Ooh. Oh, I can pat him. No. There, boy. He's so cute. What is study? Oh, learn, we can learn about. Oh, I can see info about my horse. He's got. He's a mahogany bay. He's decent at speed, acceleration, handling's pretty normal. This is my main horse. <laughs> he ain't my side horse. <laughs> Don't want him to be my side boy. You're side horse. Right, boy. Oh yeah. Okay. I wish we could name him. What would you name him? Steve. We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what, 10, 12 people? 
when I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough nothing. of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving would be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look at this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. All right, looks like we're going hunting. Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. I mean, people got to eat, babe. They didn't have supermarkets back then. I guess. Oh, mm. my horse bond increased. Level <laughs> two. Ain't nothing growing in this uh, weather. I was like, go find Ooh, some I've fruit. unlocked rearing with my horse. My stamina increased. What are you going to find out here? A deer? Maybe. We found wolves. I don't think there's any cattle. Wolves are eating something. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. Bears, maybe. Maybe we'll find grizzly. Find some higher ground. Um, I could do without a grizzly. I could totally Ooh. take a grizzly. Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish it's I could have so pretty done more. out here. I didn't mean it like that. Just lot to think back on. I'm glad the snow's calmed down a bit, though. Yeah, it was a bit much. So calming and majestic. Till we run into a grizzly. Till we run into a grizzly. Grizzly, grizzly, grizzly. Can we just go fishing? Yeah. Look at that creek. Gotta have some fishing poles around there somewhere. Got to. There's some patches of grass here. This the is sky's good. pretty. Let's try this way. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad. Trees with the snow hanging on it. I like the water. Yeah, it's pretty. Look at all the waterfalls I could fall off, babe. No waterfalls for you. <laughs> Should we tell the viewers that story? I never fell off a waterfall. No, you didn't fall, but you almost fell. Shh. I'm on the rabbits. Pesky rabbit. There's deer been here. Recently. How can you tell? How can we not? We're gonna kill Bambi. 
My butt has to be freezing right now. <laughs> You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. A gun will scare everything around. Yeah, you said that already. No guns, just the bow. Rifle? Nope. The snow doesn't make it very easy. Crunch, crunch, crunch. I, think so. I don't see tracks anywhere. Focus. Yeah, I don't either. Use eagle out of highlight. I'm hunting bunny rabbits. You're hunting a deer. Okay. Deer. Yeah, I'm totally hunting a deer. See how it sparkles? I'm going to lose it. Oh, there it is. Here, dear, dear, Gotta go catch that dang deer. <laughs> that dang deer. Where is it? Oh. Oh, there it is. I see it. I see it right there. Down there. You see him? Shh, quick. Get that bow out, Arthur. Good shot. Down. Hunting deer in a video game. Oh, I see the other one. Why am I whispering? I don't see it. He's right over that. See him over there? Oh, yeah. I don't think I can harvest it. See him moving. Now I'm all wet. <laughs> I got damp. You've been tracking through the snow. There he is. You just wounded it. Better go put it out of its misery. Oh, there's more. Pick up one, I'll get the other. Alright. You sure your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Dun, 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 we got a deer. We got the deer, deer. Hey. Pick up. Oh, now I gotta carry a dead deer the whole way back to my horse. <laughs> well. Gotta eat. Ooh, whistle for your horse. Oh, dude. Oh, thank God. I was going to say. My stamina can't take it. There oh, he is. He's so majestic. I love you, horsey. Do you mind if I throw another animal on top of you? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my de if I was the deer, I'd be like, uh, what is this? There, Sorry. I'd totally be wondering, like, what's going on? Where did this come from? I thought you said we were friends. 
Alright, let's go on right back. Gotta go find our friend. Ready to head back when you are. Follow Charles. Let's head back. Cinematically. Although you killed Bambi's mom. <laughs> Ooh, I can You're drop him off at the butcher. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen enough of that. Considering how things were I'm totally gonna try to take down a gang hideout with the bow. So maybe our no. finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off. You don't think I could now. do it? Soon. Um people are still weak and no. you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere. Till we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off, we'll here, right back to the king. Still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. When are we gonna get to the wild, wild west? I mean, we are in the west, and it's looking pretty wild. In his hand ever since we fled Blackwall. I mean, we just ain't in the desert. Don't worry, we get we'll get the there. Five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. <laughs> we ain't feeding the old Driscoll a damn thing. Oh, he's got to eat. Assaulted awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl. She has a wild look in her eye. Of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of it's here, nice we'll that they fill in so much we'll conversation. She might have family somewhere. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been strapping over... It's going to get some backstory, too. Yeah. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Watch out. Bear up oh no. Let's see if we can find another way around. Looks like a black He's bear. Got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough here. No need to push our luck. You must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep mm. all winter. Yeah, don't don't uh, run into that bear. Don't try to take the bear? No. Eat bear meat. You have, you have two deer. Yeah. Put up here, off the trail. <laughs> We're a good snack right now for him. Uh, yeah. He looks small. Wait till he stands up. <laughs> he broke his mic. Sorry, guys. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties have been resolved. <laughs> For the most part. We're good. I'm a little clumsy at times, if you haven't noticed. Alright. There's, there's good levity for that tense moment. You never talk that much with me. How long have you been with us now? Five, six months? Something Sorry. Like She's glaring at me, guys. I didn't mean to. Glare? Yeah. I think you did. Blackwater did not. I want to know what happened in Blackwater. Uh, or I'm sure we'll get there. Go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just I know you can run it alone. No problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. How far away is our camp? We were way out there. I still wonder that most nights. I like how there's snow on the deer. <laughs> Everything's so realistic. Sure, I could fall in with another gang. The fact we get covered in snow longer we're out here. 
Dutch is different. Oh yes, Dutch is certainly different. I mean, yeah. How far are we from? The oh, it's all the way up there. How far out did we venture? Grizzlies <laughs> West. <laughs> <laughs> he treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. We're almost back. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh. Twenty years, something like that. Since the I trees all look like Christmas trees. They do. Yeah. You taught me to read. John too. You taught me a few other things. Him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. We are seriously getting covered in some snow out here. Save most of it. Snowing. That's why we need to stay. No shit, Sherlock. Good job. I'm proud of you. Right. Sorry. Now I'm glaring at you. Now she's glaring at me. See, this is just what we do, guys. We bicker. Like horse? all married couples. Right. Yeah, pretty much. Are we there yet? I need to pay. Didn't know we were going to another damn state to get a horse. I mean, a deer. A deer. So, I mean, they're pretty much the same thing, right? No. Shit. Oh, I see it. We're back. We come bearing the gift of deer. We brought some food. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Brought some food back, boys. Hitch my horse. I like how the ground is even dirty where the horses are. Thank you for showing me how to use the boat properly. I only showed you a little. It's because they poop. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Just saying. Well, well, well. Just drop it down in here. What a surprise! Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. Why, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah. Oh. Seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one you just dumped on the floor there. <laughs> Gotta skin the deer. Aww. Close your eyes, babe. Too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town if you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. <coughs> on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. We'll make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <coughs> it's been a bad few weeks. But Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Oh, 
I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. Then you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to go? Of course I do, but... Look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He can see me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway man. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutchie. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? Uh, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob! We're finally gonna go rob that train we've been talking about. Yeah, you can see the snow starting to melt down where the tracks are. Um, for those of you that may not know or may not have played the first one, uh, one little cool thing that I did notice is John Marston, the guy who got his face clawed up, is the same name as the main character from the first Red Redemption. Now, I don't remember whether this one takes before or after. I think it's before, so I think he's okay, either... Gentlemen. I think Listen he's your, the main All character of that game's dad. But I could be mistaken. That'd be interesting. Yeah, you can see how the snow's like totally gone less. Yeah. Even by the way, the footsteps are shallower. Trees are starting to thaw. Seeing the ground pop through. Starting to see roads. The sky looks cool. Yeah. I actually see the mountains. I just want to know where this takes place. In the West. You know, the West is very broad. I can't believe we're gonna rob a train. Ooh, look, I can see greenery down there. We're getting out of the mountains. Look at that sky. Is that the snow is melting. Well, we're going down the mountains so we've been in. We're starting to see some greenery. The world of Red Dead Redemption 2 spans five fictional states of the United States. <laughs> Damn. You sure you're ready for this, kid? New Hanover, Amberino, 
keep your eyes sharp. Oh, oh babe. What? Mistake. Ooh, look at that view. Oh, yeah. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It's so it would be crazy. crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. Pinkertons. We go back. When I Watch said out. we go back. And that's the end oh, of this needs totally cinematic here. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of Love that dude's horse's butt. Good money. That's not the cinematic you were looking for? No, Everyone not really. Shut right. up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Idiot. Oh, that's a train track. Whoa. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Whoa there. Go check on Bill. Look, it's so green. Gotta see how Bill's going. Why is Bill such a western name? He's playing all the dynamite. How you getting on? Yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Don't actually set off the detonator. <laughs> that would be an awful idea. Sorry, Bill. My bad. Bye, Bill. <laughs> it was nice knowing you, Bill. <laughs> Old school detonator. So dramatic. Set it off? You no. head back up to the others. I got it from here. Right. Get your horse away from that. I'm gonna take my horse away from the dynamite. Okay, boy. I wasn't gonna leave my horse by the dynamite. Who do you think I am? Says all fine. We'll soon find out. Ooh, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? I think we're gonna blow up a train. We're not gonna blow the train up. That wouldn't do us much good. Okay? We're gonna blow up the track the train's on. So. Okay, cover your faces. The train should be here any minute. Includes you, Arthur. <laughs> what? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Why are you doing this, Arthur? Just pull up your bandana. How do I do that? Well, I think you need to look at your stuff. Oh, that's why they're asking me to bring up the weapon wheel. Yeah. Items. Ah. Uh. That's cool. Cover your face. Supposedly, if you put your bandana on before you do a crime and then take it off afterwards, you're like it'll make your Gentlemen, wanted level drop quicker. It's time. Well, that's good to know. I read that on the interwebs. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Alright, cool. So that didn't work. 
What did you do, Jason? I didn't do anything. I wired it up exactly how I was supposed to. You lost someone. Yep. Oh shit! Grab Lenny. Help. Come on, Lenny. Oh. Get up here before you hit that rock. Yep. Shot him in the leg. We deal with ambiguity, okay? Watch this, ready? Wait for it. Oh, I missed. Dang it. Jerk. Just gonna loot people along the way. <laughs> See, it is your fault. It's not my fault. said that already. Oh. Jeez. Damn conductor. I got a clear shot. Break free, break free. Aww. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay. Well, that probably didn't kill him, so there's that. There's a lot of uh, killing people. Yep. I love how I, you have to hit the button to cock it every time. <laughs> it's just a nice little detail that's not necessarily necessary. Where are you at? Where are you at? Buddy showed up. Oh, good. Hopefully, they brought your horse. <laughs> Our cats are playing with a hair tie. It's quite amusing, actually. They're just having a field day. You probably can't hear it, but it's quite funny. You two all right? Yes. Oh, Let's I saw your horse. We yep. got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. 
We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. <laughs> three, Doing two, the parent one. method. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake him up a little! You know, it really seems like we're the bad guys. We're outlaws, babe. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. <laughs> okay. Boys, go blow that door open. Now, don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to Seems take good enough. Now light the fuse. Here we go. Oh no, all those people are gonna die. Okay, now run. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. Okay. All right, come on. Good walk on out here. We don't want to kill you. We just want to rob your barn. Get on up there. Search that train. <laughs> Leviticus Cornwall. We'll get up there. Uh, I'm working on it. This place. It's like a palace. Now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh yes. Could be easy as cake. Inspect. You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Dear Mr. Cornwall, we are yet to receive payment of $2,000 for the initial phase of exploration at the Wap Indian Reservation and Marino, as agreed in the contract between Cornwall Kerosene and Tar and Leyland Oil and Development Company, dated November 9, 1898. On receipt of these funds, we'll proceed with phases 2 and 3 of the project and present you with a detailed report of our findings within the month. Yours respectively, James Critch, Head of Accounts, Leyland Oil Development Company. Hmm, sounds like he owes some people. Hmm. <laughs> What do we got here? Yeah. Ooh, cigars. At least we all know you can read. Pocket watch. Ooh, a pocket watch. There's another paper there. Railroad contracts, invoices, blah, blah, blah. Dear Leviticus, thank you for the telegram and for your continued interest in the Jameson Mining Company. However, any news you have received of mismanagement or financial difficulties at the mine Berg are simply fake and I would urge you to question your sources. The coal industry is quite different from the oil industry in a number of ways, so I certainly remain open to a business meeting at your convenience to exchange ideas and educate each other on our respective areas of corporate expertise. I would also be delighted to host you as Berg. Ansberg and give you a personal tour of the mine and its associated facilities. I look forward to further correspondence with you sincerely, Archibald Jameson. <laughs> Any luck, Arthur? Nothing, Nothing yet. yet. Let's Let's keep looking. Ooh, there's take. What could I take? Could I take the picture? Nope. I don't think you have room for Fine that. brandy. Of course. It's important. Another cigar. Search this cabinet. Uh, keep looking. There must be something. Come on. Okay, carry any more of whatever item. On, A fox. Hello. No, this looks like something. Those look like bonds of some sort. Yep. Called it. That's it. I think I got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> what did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah. Uh, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. 
Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. We're gonna leave them alone, right? Okay. Get on the train, quick. All of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on, move. Huh? I hear so much as a footstep. I don't think it was smart to leave one guy like with your three. What are they? Hostages? <laughs> hostages. For sure, hostages. <laughs> Yep. Gotta get my horse. Take me to the front of the train. Yeah. yeah. Are we supposed to be taking it somewhere? Or just starting it? gonna let it go see I didn't kill him Are you proud of me I am very proud of you should have killed him thank you for not killing them should have killed him just saying it's gonna come back to bite me in the ass we'll deal with it by killing yeah well they had their chance <laughs> they get one chance that's it don't mess it up, guys. Don't mess it up. So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed a Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well, then let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Finally getting off the mountains. Listen to that music. It's good. Good soundtrack. It's fitting for the descent from the snow. We're just getting started. I know. I feel like we've barely done anything. Bam. Intro. <laughs> Lenny! Micah! Get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead. Make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Where's your horse? Clearly, I'm really worried about the horse. He's helping on, drive the caravan, probably. Look at the waterfall. Look at that. That's a good wow. size waterfall. Wow. Get us out the stream. I'm working on it. I feel like the Oregon Trail here. Oh. Wow. 
Yeah, cart's just falling apart. <laughs> ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Doctor. You still strong enough to hold up a leg? Shut up. I'm just saying. <laughs> say less. I love all their bickering. Take the wheel Bash that wheel back on there. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. Uh oh. Who are they? That not good. What do you think? If they want in trouble, oh, they're Indians. They wouldn't have seen Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Leave the Indians alone. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. Our friends left us. So... Yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country. They mm -hmm. lost it all. Stolen clean away from them. It was every on the trail. Grass. Sorry. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of lose another wheel. <laughs> Let's go rolling down out. the mountain. Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly, uh, Unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasant? <laughs> we don't. It's got a point. Spider touch is talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our blockheaded driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't Such even know. Such a nice I view. Happened. I know, and I love the little detail of like the tracks in the mud. My father was a colored man. Yeah. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. But when we were forced to move, I just want to go explore the nature. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years mm. later, some Wildlife. soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man and a drinker. You have to wear clothes appropriate for the environment. 13, I'm still wearing my winter clothes. I'm too hot. On my own. <laughs> that was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Just keep whipping them horses. Yeah. Faster. Faster. We still heading the right way? That depends. Such nice scenery. Are we still head west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes. Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Look at the rock formation. Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait. What's Sorry for being quiet, guys. Just taking in the scenery and listening to them because they're talking about important stuff. It sounds like. How low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? It's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him. But we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. Die. Mm. Just the way it is. 
always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah. You can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yep. You acquired some herbs. <laughs> Herb the herb. <laughs> Are we there yet? Ooh, I can pick up plants. Be a botanist. American ginseng. Oh, now we're going quicker, at least. There you are, brother. Head in there. You follow the tracks for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Hello. Okay, let's go. There we go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Set up a nice little camp. We're going camping. Oh, there's the rest of your people. Here we are, gentlemen. Home we have arrived. Home. You weren't wrong, Jose. This place is perfect. Are. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a long way from our dream of virgin land in the west. I know, my brother. But we are safe we make a bit of money here then we move again head out around them be west of uncle sam in a few months buy some land i hope so would you just look around you this world has its consolations <laughs> gentlemen i'm going to head into the local town and uh, you know see if i can strike up a little business of course herr strauss I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. Can we put you over here? I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. I'm totally not shaving. 
You're gonna grow me a big ass beard. I mean, might as well. Yeah. This seems like a good place to save. Yeah, I think this is a good spot. Hopefully, it'll, it'll let us save. Yeah. Achievement. Got off the mountain, rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartland. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel. Spot of black water in that whole mess. Arthur? Jose? No. <laughs> Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm going to read a book. <laughs> All right, look, now we got a whole bunch of different places to go. Yeah, it looks like it's kind of open now. Let's take a look at our map, see where we're at. It's our compendium. Yeah, go back. Back. No, that's not what I want. Arthur, my boy. There we go. Map. Whew. So that's where we were up before. So we rode all the way down here. And judging by how far this cursor moves, map's going to be pretty big. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here, we're going to save our game, and we're going to call it an episode. Yeah. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's, yeah. uh, we're 6.7% so in. <laughs> Two hours. So we got a bit to go. Yeah. Uh, last I heard, the main story takes about 60, so hence the reason we're doing hour-long episodes. Although we didn't want to go 120 episodes in, you know. Um, as always, we hope you like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Patreon. Yes. Like, subscribe, Sorry, comment, Sorry, too busy talk, texting to talk. Uh, I just found out some really cool news. I'll tell you afterward. But, um, anyway, yeah. Like, subscribe, comment, all the things. Check out our Patreon page. Let us know how we're doing. Yes. And we love you. And we look forward to seeing you for the next episode because I want to get more into this. Yes. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.